Hello, so we're back. Finally Friday, and we have a nice gaming laptop. I don't know, but like 80% of my jobs are gaming laptops. Okay, what this is doing is a i7, 10 gen, and uh, NVIDIA graphics. What this is doing is dead. Okay, no charging line, nothing. The charger is plugged in. What the customer is saying, the customer is saying, I, uh, Acer Nitro 5, AN515-55, no switching on, no lights, no charging light. So basically it's a dead laptop, okay? Now let's make this like a tutorial, yeah? what uh, you will check first. What you will check first? I mean, let's say you have a high side MOS, uh, shorted MOSFET, and um, you use the charger, it's a bad idea, but probably... The customer already tried with the charger, so the damage is done, okay? So, yeah, you can plug the charger. Now, first you will check the charging, the charger voltage, yeah? Let's see if the charger is good. And the charger has 19.8, you can see on the screen? Okay. So, uh, clearly, this laptop is dead, right? Now, let's open the laptop. Let's be like a tutorial, yeah? Step by step. What can be done here? I mean, it's no sign of life. No charging. So, can be 19 volts power rail missing, can be 3.3 volts power rail missing, can be both missing or shorted on the same time. Okay, so we are focusing on uh, restoring those... Uh, power rails, or at least find out why they are not present. It's simple till here, yeah? Okay, that's good. Let's assume you are a beginner, yeah? Okay, let's take the back cover. It has plastic clips. Plastic clips. Yeah. And the laptop is open. Where did, where did I see this board? I remember this kind of board. Oh, yeah. We have like two, jo you remember two laptops with, uh, with the MOSFETs, you remember? Yeah, like, like in a two weeks window, I have probably like two or three laptops, this board. Ha. This should be nice for a tutorial, yeah? So you see here are, uh, is the input circuit. I mean, we already know this is the input circuit. You have the charging port, then you have first MOSFET, second MOSFET, and you have the current sensor, or current resistor, and you have actually two. So this line should be all 19 volts, yeah? Let's plug the charger. We plug the charger. Now let's check the voltage on the charger. So the voltage on the charger is coming here, yeah, and it is zero, no, 19.8, you can see on the screen, 19.8, so the 19 is present. Now we have to follow if the 19 is going forward, yeah, so after the second MOSFET, we have, we have zero, so after the second, we have zero, no voltage. Dead. I mean, if here is no voltage, obviously, here on those resistors, I will have no voltage. Okay, this uh, sounds a little bit bad, yeah? Because there is no voltage for more reason, yeah? So let's unplug the charger. Let's unplug the battery, because possible to be a, a power rail shorted, yeah? So how do we are checking the short? Just changing the multimeter on the beeping mode. And we are checking the short here after those two MOSFETs on the current sensor compared with the ground. Check on the screen 2.3 ohms. You can see 2.3 ohms. So the power rail, the 19 volts power rail is shorted. And the laptop is built on the same way. If something is shorted, it will not push a voltage, it will disconnect yeah, the, the power using this MOSFET. Even if I come with the power supply, let's come with the power supply. Yeah, minus, plus, 
and he's taking no power, you can see. He's taking no power. I mean, kind of smart, right? I mean, there is a short. Now, how can we find this short? Uh, this short. This short looks bad. Let's check one more time. 2.3 ohms. If it's a capacitor, it will be short like this. It will be 0 ohms. But here we have like 2 ohms, which is bad news. Yeah? I mean, it is a small chance to be a capacitor with a very high resistance. I mean, 2 ohms is kind of high. But most likely, it's a MOSFET on the GPU or CPU. Yeah? This is kind of sad. I mean, kind of sad. I mean, I don't know. If the, the MOSFET disconnect the power, that means the, 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 the CPU, the GPU is saved. Hard. Hard to say. Just based on the fact there are two ohms there. If it's two ohms on the CPU, that doesn't look good. If it's two ohms on the GPU, that can be right. And that's the laptop. Huh? It's looking good. It looks like no one opened this before. That's how it looks. Good. Good. So how we can find the problem now? Uh, the safest way is using the thermal camera. That's the safest way because we have to use low current. If you don't have a thermal camera, that's fine. You can uh, you can come with low voltage and uh, low current, yeah, and you can diagnose this. So the lowest voltage on this board, it's actually the CPU voltage, which is around zero point eight, yeah. So let's come with zero point eight. We cannot burn anything, yeah, with zero point eight volts. Let's set up a current limit about one amp. And let's come with the, the voltage with the power supply exactly here on those resistors, yeah? And, and my, my ground is not good. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Let's use another ground. Yeah, let's see now. Okay, now it's good. And it's taking one amp. You can see on the screen, one amp. So something is taking one amp. What do you think is taking one amp? So that's the GPU and that's the CPU. Huh? Huh. Uh, this looks strange, I mean. Yeah. I believe it's a CPU. You can see the CPU is getting hot. I mean look at the color. Look at the color of the of the board. Yeah, and look at the color of the of the CPU. It's not the GPU, the GPU is fine, but the CPU, the color is warmer, okay? Clearly this, uh, here is a high sign MOSFET, which is shorted. Yeah, kind of sad. <coughs> kind of sad. Hmm? That's bad. Proper bad. Okay. Let's uh, raise the current a little bit. Let's raise the voltage. The CPU should be fine with, even with one volt. Raise the current to 2.5 amps. I'm just trying to spot the MOSFET, which is shorted. Yeah, clearly, you can see it's the CPU, which is getting hot in one corner. <laughs> okay, that's bad. And the MOSFET which is shorted i can't spot it here yeah i cannot spot the, the mosfet i believe is this one yeah this is the number the number this one i believe is this one but let's take it out and uh, see if the short is gone but yeah, this is bad news. This is bad news. Let's see. 
microscope. Good, good. Let's use a, just a little bit of flux. And let's remove that MOSFET. I'll come with 500 degrees, 480 actually. About 40% air. Less 35% air. Okay, this is a bad tutorial because the tutorial is just ended here. There's <laughs> nothing more what we can do on this point. Just replace the MOSFET and pray for the CPU to be good. I really doubt it based on the fact we have... Uh, we have... Uh, it's getting hot in one corner. Well, yeah, we can try. Okay, so we remove the MOSFET. Now let's check if we have any short. No, we have no short. So basically we spot the fault right. I mean, with the multimeter, it's not short anymore. You can see here and here, it's not short. So now if we are plugging the charger, this laptop should come on. Probably come on and shutting down or uh, even coming on and working. Can be. Yeah, can be. Let's see. Good. Now let's plug the charger. Yeah, we don't need the battery. Let's plug the charger. And if we are checking the voltage now on the same point, yeah. On those resistors here, we have 19.8. You can see on the screen, so uh, you can't see. But here and here, and we have 19.8. Let's power on. Let's see. Power on. And the laptop, it is coming on. Look, we have, we have light on the keyboard. We have light on the, the power on light. It's present there. You can see it? You can't see it. Can we get some picture? I'm curious. Can I get some picture? Probably not. Hmm. The chip said, the chip said is kind of fine it's kind of hot but yeah have nothing to do with the chipset so we have no picture right wow what are the odds for this cpu to still be working okay let's check a few things you remember we had like two ohms the two ohms is too low for a cpu like this Let's check one more time. Ground. 1.7 ohms. 1.8. That, that's, that, that's low. Here we have 4.7. So let me understand. This is 1.6. 1.6. One point eight, yeah, and this one is for the. Uh, this one is for um, for the V core line when the CPU is boosting. That's fine. That's fine. That's that's okay. We can move this one here. Yeah. I mean, we can replace it. I I still have this one. One second. I have this this MOSFET. Okay, I found it. I found it. Oh, 
Okay, so we solder the MOSFET back. <clears throat> we can test one more time, but it's pointless. Yeah, the CPU is dead, clearly. Clearly, the CPU is dead. I mean, 1.6 ohms. Come on. We know the CPU is dead. I mean, this is the worst case scenario, you know, if you have a dead EC chip, CO chip, yeah, can be fixed. But when you have a dead CPU, nah, it's not much what you can do. Let's connect the screen. Charger. Let's see power on. And the laptop it is coming on. You really expect picture? Really? <laughs> yeah, sadly. There is nothing what we can do here. Here clearly we are speaking about that CPU. This is a big charger, probably around 9 amps charger, yeah. Like 180 watts goes through this CPU. It's not much what you can do. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I can feel the CPU is getting hot, but that's not helpful. How that can be helpful? How that can be helpful? You know what I mean? I mean, I can feel it hot. Yeah, the, chip, the CPU more than GPU. Sadly, it's nothing what we can do. So if you have a case like this, I mean, I don't remember to have like a high side MOSFET shorted on the CPU and actually to fix this problem by s replacing the MOSFET. No, I don't remember. <laughs> Not on a gaming laptop, don't get me wrong. I seen these faults on like normal laptops and yeah, I replaced the MOSFET and was working fine. But not on a gaming laptop. Because because the charger is big, that's the only reason. You have 180 watts. You have 19 volts, around 9 amps, or 20 volts, 9 amps. And uh, when the high side MOSFET is getting shorted, the old power, not only the old power, don't get me wrong, the old power of the charger plus the capacitors. So you see those capacitors, the ceramic capacitor, electrolytic capacitors, in a case of short, they all are pushing current, instantly current, into the CPU. So actually you push more current compared with what we have on the charger. Then have in mind you have the battery here. <laughs> okay. Also now, I'm really sorry. I was trying to do like a tutorial to diagnose uh, and fix. And fix, that's like to and fix a motherboard. But yeah, I can't do it. This one has a dead CPU. So thank you for watching, like and subscribe if you like the video and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.